Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vivian. If you have not been here before, I need I know I can't do that because it like messes with the audio of my camera, but I can't help. So today, even though I am the singlest of all the Pringles, we're gonna do a Valentine's themed makeup and fashion look because I love love. I hope to have some of it someday. And something else I also love is hearts. I love hearts. I love heart motifs. I love if it has a heart on it, I'll buy it. I'm already there, I'm sold, I'm down. We're doing it, that's it. And I love red and I love pink. Red and pink are my two favorite colors. Red and pink and hearts and love. Um, you know, that's how I feel about that. So we're gonna do a look for this. It'd be a nice, cool, red, monochromatic look, I think. And then I'll throw on some jewelry, some heart-themed accessories, and I'll show you the final look, and it'll be cool. But yeah, I'm wearing, this is just like a red turtleneck thing from H&M, but then I have this really cool chiffon, like, overshirt thing I got in um, a vintage store in London. I love it it's so pretty I know you can't really super see it but you'll see it later when I do like bigger shots of what I'm wearing I'll take pictures and post them on Instagram and everything like that so yeah be sure to check that out and like that and follow me on Instagram if you don't already most of you are coming from my Instagram so if you are thank you for actually clicking on my the link in my bio and watching these videos I really appreciate it but I guess we should just get into it so I already did my foundation, I did my contour, I did my eyebrows, I think that's it, yeah. So first I'm just gonna start with some primer and put it on my lids. You guys get to see a lovely up close of my janky nails right now. Half of them broke so I just trimmed them all a lot shorter than I normally would have them and it's kind of driving me nuts. But at least I know they're not likely to break because they're all so short. So I'm gonna use two palettes for this look. I'm gonna use, I think this is the Morphe 35B, I wanna say. It's the one with all the colors. That's helpful. It's that one. I've had it for a few years. It just had some nice like bright reds. Um, so we're gonna use that and Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance to use some of that, this like dark red ochre. I'm gonna use red ochre. And I'm gonna go ahead and set with Tempera from this palette. Lovely heart mirror. Say hi. Hi. Heart mirror that I've actually had for a little bit, but I haven't been able to show it, been able to show it yet because I haven't done a makeup look in a while. So I could use my heart mirror today. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this peachy color and orange color and put that in the crease. slightly smaller blender brush and dip into the red shade just like get right in there because it's mainly it's just a big kind of smoked out basically one color I'm just gonna use some other darker shades to add a little bit of dimension but it's basically just one color so it's not super precise and I just I love the way it looks even though it's like not complicated it's just somehow it just looks really cool with a lot of stuff I think And I have to do that thing where I kind of have to keep like opening my eye and looking up and seeing how it looks with my eye normally versus how it looks like this because my eyes are hooded. And this color is so pigmented and messy kind of. I mean any color like this since it's so bold you kind of want to be careful. Because if you go like too far or out of bounds then it's kind of like what do you do? For like in the pan it looks really red and it looks like it's gonna match 
both the shirt, my top, and uh, the lipstick I'm gonna use, which is gonna be MAC Ruby Woo, which is like a very kind of bright red, blue toned red. And even this red, even though in the pan, in the palette, it looks really red, it's kind of comes out a little more pinkish, which in general, I don't mind. But for this, I want it to be a little more red. So, well first, I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit on the outsides. And then take a little bit of that orange color at the bottom on the outsides to make it a little less pink toned. It's gonna be real fun to edit because I haven't been stopping this at all. I'm just gonna be a lot of me not saying anything and just blending. I'm gonna take just a little bit of that purple in the crease and the outer V. I'm trying to darken it up a little bit. And see, that's it a little bit, but what I really want it is to be a little more of that, like, that red ochre color that's in the Anastasia palette. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a little bit of that. Very careful with that. I don't want to ruin this brush because I love this brush. You see how that immediately darkened it up and gave it like a little more of a deeper red tint to match this better. Made it a little less pink. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Excuse me. So I'm just gonna kind of buff it out a little bit, blend a little bit, and then that's basically gonna be it. That's part of what I love about this, these kind of looks. They're really simple, but they're impactful and they look really cool. Because sometimes as impressive and cool as all this like Instagram makeup is, it's, for me sometimes it's just like, that's just so much. It's very cool, but it's like, if you're gonna wear it with stuff, then it just becomes, and that's just partly, that's just a personal taste thing for me. I'd rather have like, at least I'm now moving into liking more kind of natural makeup or stuff that's maybe not natural, but is more like basic. Even if it's a bright color, it's just kind of like a, you know, ring around my eyes kind of thing. So it'll just kind of be a pop in an outfit instead of like this whole intricate thing that doesn't necessarily match the rest of what you're wearing and kind of detracts from your outfit. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that red ochre and put it very carefully underneath my bottom lash line. I'm gonna put some white eyeliner in my waterline. So I need to add some finishing touches and then put my mascara on. I need to do blush. I saved blush. And I'm just gonna use my NARS Orgasm. Cause it's more pinky than my MAC Warm Soul. And I'm gonna do highlight. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Moonchild Palette. Moonchild Palette and I don't know, I think Pink Heart is gonna be a little too pink. So I'm gonna use um, just star, get a nice like silvery. Take a little bit of that in my inner corner and below my brow bone. Or on my brow bone? No. So next I'm gonna curl my lashes and then do mascara. Mascara is done. Now we're gonna do lips. So I'm using MAC Ruby Woo, and I tested this like a few days ago, and I noticed that Ruby Woo is a little too bright to match even like this top and the makeup. So I'm gonna use a darker lip liner underneath and kind of like blur it out. There's like a term 
blend it, blend it out a little bit so it just has a nice like darker base to put the light color on top so it won't be quite as bright. This is the um, MAC Night Moth liner. I've had this for a long time, ever since I had like Diva lipstick, which I think was one of the first ones I got. Um, but that was like quite a few years ago now. And I have a little bit of like remnants of lip balm on, which I think will, which like will help it be not quite as like dark and like a line. It'll be easier to blend out because there'll be like a little bit of a slip already on there. And keep my lips hydrated, you know. Ideally, I wouldn't use a color that's like quite this dark and purpley. Thing is, I don't have like a lot of lip liners and the ones I do, this is like the best one I have that'll work for this purpose. So that's why I'm using this color, even though it's like really dark and purpley. I'm gonna take my finger and blend it in. Yeah, then I have like a darker base to build on. And now I'm gonna do lipstick. This is MAC Ruby Woo. Whew, okay. So I think that's the makeup done. Now I'm gonna put on a few accessories. I have these really, really cool heart pearl earrings from I think H&M. How I love them, they're so cute. So here's my look guys. I added all my pearls and my jewelry, my heart, because it's Valentine's Day, or it's near Valentine's Day, I'm gonna release this before Valentine's Day. Um, yeah. I really enjoyed creating this look. This is going to be fun to take pictures of. I'm going to take some pictures of it on my phone so I have stuff to post on Instagram and just because I want pictures of it because I think it's really cool and cute. But yeah. for watching I really appreciate it be sure to hit the like button if you like this I really helps me and please subscribe if you have not already I would greatly appreciate it I do more stuff like this fashion videos some makeup videos I might do one or two more makeup videos coming soon I'm gonna do an Apple watch review I'm gonna do my beret collection it's gonna be a fun time so you don't want to miss out so you want to click that subscribe button down below okay happy have a happy Valentine's Day if you're a single Pringle or if you're a uh, taken bacon, taken bacon. That's, you know, copyright. I just made that up. Yeah, either way, Galantines, whatever you, whatever you do, whoever you love. Love is great. I don't have any. I would love some. I would love some love. Don't have any. If you have it, good for you. If you don't, also good for you. It's great. Live your life. I don't know how to end. This, this feels really weird now. Okay, so I'm just going to say goodbye. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you again next time. Bye.